So there's uh, so much that I would like to talk to you about this movie, but I really don't want to get too much into the story because I feel like it's really something that should be experienced as fresh as possible. So I'd like to ask you a couple of behind the scenes questions. Sure, yeah. Um, I always look for the special thanks during the credits, and one name in particular uh, jumped out to me, and that was Bob Shea huh. from uh, New Line. Who it's I, Bob. I recently uh, interviewed him. It's one of the best interviews I've ever done. Oh my god, I can only imagine. Uh, like, could, what was his input on this? Like, did you call him for advice, or was it no, just like, no, thank you for? No, Bob Shea. Bob Shea ran New Line when I did American History X, mm -hmm. and um, when we when we came through that process, and I remember Bob looking at the movie, and he turned to me and goes, "Kid." That's a hell of a picture, and he goes, "That's your that performance is gonna get remembered." And I was like, "Oh, that's nice, Bob." I was like, "I was thinking this is our edgy little guerrilla film that we made," and I was like, I, "But I was very struck by his support, and he was a real. He told anybody that would listen that he would that that was a film he was very proud of having made, and um, and." He he took a, and he and he basically said to me like tell me what you want to do and I and I I had read uh, I just read um, this book Motherless Brooklyn I read it before it came out um, I got it in galleys because someone tipped me off about it and I went to, to Bob and the other guys at New Line at the time I said hey you know let's would you get me the rights to this book because I, I I this character really speaks to me and Bob Shea was the one who who got it for me. Wow. Yeah. And all these years later, you finally yeah. got to make it. Yeah, do you know if he's seen it? He hasn't. I mean, we're inviting him. Toby Emmerich, who now runs Warner Brothers and worked for Bob, stayed my champion on it. And um, there's an amazing history. I mean, it's very rare, like, people talk about how studio people really helped them, you know, make an original adult drama. But these guys really did. They really, they really, they believed in it, and they backed me, and they stayed with it. Mm. Yeah, and there's another. There's a, a a story, or I guess a legend, I should say, okay. about you and Michael K. Williams, hmm. uh, his role in um, The Incredible Hulk, <laughs> uh, apparently being a, a big, a big thing that was edited to like two shots in uh, the movie. Are there two shots still in there? Uh, there's one of like a car blowing up, and he's like, "Whoa!" Under, yeah, <laughs> yes, there was a yes. Like everybody, I was a, um, you know, a obsessive fan of of Omar and the wire and then Chalky White and uh, I don't think that had come out yet I don't remember but basically it was I, I immediately filed like the first scene that he appeared in in the wire I literally hit pause and I was like work with Michael K Williams someday <laughs> right and um, I looked I looked many times for opportunities to do that um, and uh, but this one was a better one. This is the one. Yeah. Oh, he's but... he's like a shaman. He's like a truly It's not even these a scene stealer. He's so he's so hypnotic. Like I when I when I was doing scenes with Michael, like I'd sort of watch him saying these things that I'd written and he get uh, and I was like Oh, is it my line? I was like, "Oh, sorry." I, you know, I was like literally like <laughs> like watching. I was like an audience member watching going, "God, he's so good." And then I forgot I was in the scene with him.